So um, today we're going to learn about the hyper octahedron uh, polytopes. It's only uh, supposed to live in four dimensions, uh, even though this is a three-dimensional octahedron. Um, for some reason, the, the 24 cell may not be exactly analogous, but um, it's this projection of the 24 cell, which is made up of 24 octahedral cells, um, has no octahedra that are completely squashed flat. So the flattest octahedron in the whole projection is this red and blue one. And so that's where we're gonna start with, uh, with this one and we'll work our way up, kind of do a tunnel of love and then we'll build some octahedra around it. Um, I'm actually using a model. I'm looking at a model and you don't have that, that luxury. I'm going to start by doing this kind of 6 uh, medium red lollipops and you can see it traces out those three triangles so I'll just stick the triangles in real fast. These ones are the ones that are orthogonal to the viewing plane so it's been squashed along a threefold symmetry axis that's why they're they're still blue lines. Um, so the blue lines are not distorted. Somehow the, the this particular 24 cells made out of blue lines in four space. They're all the same length. Um, you'd think maybe that it would be made out of green lines since the octahedron's made out of green lines in three space. Somebody can figure that out. I don't know what it means. So this is our base right here. This, this little threefold squash of the octahedron. You know, I, by, by pointing this right at the lens, I can probably turn both of them into the same thing, but um, I'm not sure when I've got it. Well, anyway, you get the idea that they're, they're the same. So on this base now, um, I need to, to go up to a, a yellow and a red squash of this thing. So... Oops, I'm jumping ahead. It's still in the wrong place, I think. These two. So there are two interpenetrating squashed octahedra that come in next on this, uh, the next level here. Um, and, that's, and so really, there isn't a ball here. This, this should be a, like a two-tone cross bob that's got red and yellow going through it instead of a ball, because these, these struts actually cross through each other um, due to the projection from hyperspace. They're not really... Um, these aren't vertices, they're just crossing points. Okay, so now we're on to the next level. I've got to extend these, these lines. They Actually, you can see how they cross each other in the divine proportion. That's kind of a, a pretty thing here. So the next step. And... I think I can close up this, this octahedron here. Um, missing one of the blue, two of the blue lines, but we can at least see it here if I stick these, this guy in there. So there's another squashed octahedron between these, this inner one. Actually, it's, it's between these two. 
So now we've got, we can see two octahedra and there's a third one happening right there coming out of, out of this triangle. It's just above the base of that yellow octahedron. So that's the next step. Put these guys in. I do them in a pinwheel pattern. And then, and then stick the other medium red straight in like that. Again, we have to connect the dots here. So you can see how it's a kind of interpenetrating tower of these octahedra. Out of 24, we now have three that I can see. <laughs> and of course, I've got that, that beautiful Star of David happening. If you squash an octahedron flat, you get a Star of David surrounded by a hexagon. So that's it, sort of. So next, what is next? I have to look at my model because this is a very difficult model to build, I would say. What's next is these guys. These guys are medium reds again, six lollipops. And you might see there's this implied parallelogram there. So I'm gonna finish that out with these short yellow struts, Y zeros. Because that parallelogram is, is important. It's, it's part of a, a surprise that comes out later, so. There we go. Sort of like weaving a basket of octahedra. So that's that was our next step. Um, and again, these are this these points aren't really here. This would be a, a two-tone bob. We maybe maybe we can get shape ways to make one for us. But so now these guys just keep these lines just are continued. And uh, I didn't do that in the spiral this time, but um, pinwheel fashion. So now we see we're, we're getting to the two of these yellow octahedra, here's one on top, and there's also two of these red octahedra happening uh, now. I mean, we had the, the first one we already have, here's the second one. off. And our little stack now has a nice crown on it. And I need to connect the dots here, the red dots, one, two, three, and the yellow dots, one, two, three. Um, and I think it is actually, we have to put in these red lines too here. So we'll go ahead and stick in this hexagon all the way around. You see, I have to kind of bend the struts a little bit to get them in place. Um, but, and you can do that, but you can't bend them so far that you break the ends off. Or else we'll have to replace them for free and that's not good for us. So just be sure to Take it apart, don't break it apart. Okay, so there's our this is a, the base of this this fat red or whatever you want to call it, octahedron. It's almost a, a regular octahedron. It's only been squashed about five percent. And then and then we have the, the yellow one. I'm completing this as the bottom of the yellow one. And those two faces also make up two faces of the of the that super squashed one here that's kind of emerging again. So that in there. See now I'm gonna bend the strut like that and pop it in place so I don't have to pop the struts out of other positions. So I'm bending it 
and kind of popping into place. And so that's our little, little tower. And I think uh, the next step is something with these longer ones here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put a little, a, a kind of a, a bent star around the outside here, around the equator of it. Sculpture so that they can see the tower that you are building. Well, you don't get to see the whole hyper octahedron till it's done. Oh, okay. So, that's twelve medium red struts, six lollipops, and six solitaires, solo struts. So you get this nice star around there. And then everything else I think is just connecting stuff up and you get these beautiful, um, like for instance, if I do this, we are gonna see an, a whole other octahedron popping out here. Kind of, let's see if I've got it. One is it? Nope, not that one. Might be the one I don't have. Well, anyway, that's a nice one right there. So I can put this this little blue line in, and there's that a rectangle. That's one of the squares, but you can see it goes down with those two yellow ones on the bottom. And the cool thing is. We only have six we found so far, two of the, uh, of each kind of the threefold squashes, but now there's, there's six each of these other ones. And, and so there's uh, three other kinds and that makes 18 plus the six we already had, because it's 24 cells. You, you can actually go over it again and again and count them, it works out. Um, so that's basically what I got to do. I got to go all the way around and put in all those. And then you get these other octahedra that we'll find also as we go along. Just to be using reds, I'll just use up all the reds here going around. Here, I'm still bending the struts to get them into a tight position. Even the red ones can bend. They're a little tougher because they've got the pentagonal cross section. And see if you go too far. I actually got a little stress crazing on this one. Like, you know, I just think if it's a, it's a mark of, you know, battle scar from doing a really tough zone tool model. It's the styrene and the ABS that does that. When I was a kid, we had these really cheap styrene toys. And before you break them, they, you'd bend them and they'd turn all white where you bent them. And then that, that little duck would like shatter or whatever. So I got all my blue ones and my red ones in there. I have that, that blue hexagon right now. Um, so I just have to put in the rest of the yellows. And yellows, they bend pretty well. So here we go. Same thing here. We just have to go all the way around. This is where we're speeding up the tape. Time-lapse photography because that was tough there. <laughs> this one needs to get it too. Looks like we had the right part inventory this time. <laughs> I had to go through it twice to get the right number of parts. 
Oops. Oh, see, there's a problem, but this is, you can just massage it back together. The problem with when that happens is you have to get all of the struts lined up or one's going to get in the way and block your putting it back together. But, um, I think that's good. So let's go. I tried to make this thing from instructions that I put in the Creator 3 kits, and I couldn't even, it took me two hours to figure out what the hell I was talking about. And I had to study the, the enlarged JPEGs to figure out, it, it was impossible to make, almost. Anybody else, I don't know, there's a six-year-old kid that wanted to build this thing, and I think he probably would have had trouble with those instructions. I did. So here it is. This is the 24 cell. I'm going to I think you can kind of see it along the threefold axis. See that Star of David and, and the other, um, the hexagons that are all implicit in it. And um, you can you can see, I should have shown you, you these before. Um, like this is, this is the one, one of the ones that the tower is made of. Here's another squash one that the, that's in the tower. And of course, this is the one on top. And around the sides, you have this one, and it kind of kind of flips and goes all the way around like that and like that. And it go, like I said, it goes on both sides. And then there's this one, which you can also see going around there. There's one, two, three, and then I can flip it over and get And then there's this other one that's sort of below the surface we already saw. And, oh, that's the one that I couldn't find before, right there. Can you see that one inside? Um, so there's, there's also six of these going all the way around. And they kind of go up and down. See, this next one looks like that. And then the next one looks like that. And so you can go all the way around. So that makes all 24 of them. Um, another interesting thing about this model is getting back to the octahedron. You can see inside the octahedron, it's made up of these three squares that sort of interpenetrate. There's one there. And then do I, can I still find the third one? That's the third square. So you've got three of those squares. If you look at the... At the 24 cell, it's got this squashed cube inside of it. Um, let me try to get that the right orientation. Um, there's that, you can see the parallelogram I was talking about before inside. So it's got, it's got six of these squashed cubes floating around in it. And they inter intersect like this. This was supposed to be the second step of the, that was creator three kit instructions. <laughs> right there, there are your two interpenetrating cubes, so that's easy enough to build. And then you build all three of them like this, or all six of them, there they are, um, and then just stick in the, the remaining struts. So this is another way of building it. Um, I've deemed it pretty much impossible to do it this way, but you could try it. Um, that's it. Great to see you. Credits. <laughs> <laughs>